Welcome everyone, I'm Luna the second and today we are here for round number 6 of Ultimate League Season 12 and after a very long uh, mid-season break we are finally back for uh, the Indian Grand Prix which is a Formula E track in Hyderabad as you can see we got the Allianz uh, start-finish uh, line and also the attack mode as you can see right now but of course here the, uh, the attack mode does not really activate uh, it's just there for visuals but either way, uh, we got Sobo, who is uh, leading the championship, and then Antti, I think, is in second place, but I have to check very uh, quickly what's the, the difference of points between those two, and it's... Uh, so Antti has 93 points, and Sobo has 108, so that's 15 points difference, as he got P6 in the last race, and Antti was P13, and in the meantime, he got two mushes on the provisional pole with a lap of 29.33 and it's uh, solo in second place as Ant is in third so Ant who said he was not motivated he seems to be actually motivated after all as he got also charge GT started from P4 that's really amazing he won once again the two races in the CL as he, but last time around he was certainly not uh, lucky and he got only P14 in the, the last race but either way we here for the third lap, Pumush is still on provisional lot, uh, provisional pole, so this is certainly looking like a very crazy qualifying because Pumush is not really used to be that good in qualifying. But let's see now, third lap, who's gonna take pole position? And it's Nandi! Nandi right in the end is gonna steal it! Uh, 29.30, that's really nice from the Ugarian driver. Yeah, let's see, it's Nandi starting on pole position with the lap of 29.3 on the third lap as Pumush will start alongside and so will be third for the LSA sandwich. As we got then charge it, he starts from P4, that's really amazing from him. And speaking about amazing, we got the anti-amazing starting from P5 just ahead of Shironi, then you got Kubo just ahead of I saw these words, and Mati Mar starting from P9, really amazing qualifying as well there. We got then Grandi closing the top 10. And then it's Kado starting from P11 just ahead of Kraft and it's Marin Freeze from P14 ahead of Rams and it's Corvid starting quite low in this uh, race as well as Rosim in P16 as if we got Goetzi and Jurist on the back row. And with a difference of 0 0.62 seconds from first to the last place, as I have to just check the settings, okay, 10% rain. But yeah, very interesting qualifying. I wonder if I, would, if I could ask Levy how does he feel about these drivers? Uh, I did not qualifying. even expect Hnandy Paul until the last moment because he, he was on a flying lap and really it wasn't looking like he was getting a uh, he, Paul time but eventually he made it. Alright, that's really nice to hear but alright, you got 37... 47 laps of racing here today in, for the Indian Grand Prix. As soon as the drivers get ready, we can finally start round number six here in Ultimate League. Yes, everything is fine. Got 10% rain. Yes. All right, good we'll luck, everyone. I got 90 seconds, also ghosted pit lane on. So fun, we can. Uh, session is just put them ready. Right, just delicious. All right, so everyone is finally ready for the race. And here we go, it's Nandi will start from pole position on the soft tires. You can see a lot of Travis starting on soft tires. Here we go, we are racing in India. In uh, India, there he goes, Nandi starting on the inside with Pumush is trying to take the lead. As we see now, Solo also trying to take second for a 1-2 for the LSA. As we see also Charge AT on the outside. Who is going to survive this first happen? And it looks like Anti is up there in third place. You can see going for the outside. Can he do it there? He can't. He's on the outside. He got pushed into the wall. His Nandi still keeps the lead and now Sobo tried to take it right away from him and here we go, the teammates battling there. 
but they still want to for LSA. That's very crucial. Also, the Kubo appearing there on the inside. He's got anti back up to third place. As we see then. I stole these words. Sunny up there. You can see all big crash there. Stolen charge AT on the outside. He would. They just got the push outside of the first chicane and he's gonna lose a lot of positions there. As he got also Kado up to third place. This is how crazy this race has been. As he got Sobo leading the way, then he's Nandi second and it's Kado and Kubo going side by side into those wiggles. And then we got Kubo just pushing at the little bit wide there. But it's Kado with an amazing start there out of nowhere up to, up to third place. Just following the LSAs, but let's see if he's going to slip stream them or if he's aware that the, the others might be ahead of him because he, he has quite a huge ping. But Either way, it's Sobo leading the way. As we see in this, oh, Kalo, I think he pushed Nandi there. Oh, that's really not good. It's Kalo up to second place. Nandi now in third, and it's Sobo. Very crucially for his championship campaign to be leading the way in this race as he is a championship leader. He got the 13 uh, points cap to Anti in second place. As of course, Nandi has missed uh, the last race and he lost a lot of points with that, of course. And also, Buda not present today, I think. Uh, he's being replaced by... I think Charge AT. Yeah, it's Charge AT who's replacing him today. He's racing in P16. And it's quite a huge shocker, uh, considering that he was... Uh, he, that he won both CL races and he got banned from GL after an amazing performance in Instable. And yeah, it's... Uh, you see, like, he used some big battles for P6. We got Journey with his Pumushes, Mati Mar as well. It's a big group here. It's where the chaos still is happening. As you can see, they're going free wide. Pumush is squeezing himself out. As you can see, Jeroni. Oh my god, they're going very deep there. It's I stole this horse now. Letting the way. We've got Pumush is there now. Going side by side. The teammates there for BAR. Then we got Matimar on the Mayhem. Uh, filling in for Andres. Today, as you got oh my god, some big crashes. It's really hard to go side by side on this. Uh, on that middle sector there. Uh, yeah, we're talking about an FH uh, Formula E track where every single track from Formula E is almost like this. Uh, although I think recently they've been adding some actual road courses like uh, Valencia, I believe. And then we got to here uh, <coughs> Anti now up to second place. We got Nandi and Kado on this group for second place. It's a freeway battle, but they all kind of slip teaming each other. But now it's like Nandi is going to take that place from Anti. And now he's asking for anti for the sleep streaming. It's the famous ass of uh, Hernandi, how he, that's how his team owner Levy would say. We got here now. Hernandi goes a little bit for the inside. Kado is supplicating a little bit of chaos because it's really hard to, me to communicate with him with that thing. And probably Kado can just stay there. It would be really important for IMC for him to be up there. This could actually be his first ever podium if. If things go right, he hasn't really practiced much, I think, this week, but somehow things are really going well. As we see, looks like Sobo already into the pits. Anti's gonna follow him, so they're going for some kind of undercut. But let's see if the traffic will not uh, screw up Sobo's strategy as he got Corvid right behind him. That might not, might not be that ideal, but now at the head of him, it's gonna be Marion Freeze and Gironi, so let's see if Sobo doesn't put that much time behind them because. Yeah, this is where his strategy gets really important, but here he goes on inside and now he's gonna pass many freeze. That's a really amazing job there from the from the Dutchman as we see how still is always going for the pits. Nandi now going to the pits and he's going for the hards. That's really interesting as he's gonna get passed by Charge AT, who hasn't pitted yet. And uh, and yeah, sort of wish that he has pitted already and that he was on that situation because of that, but it seems like he still yet to pit. Maybe the rain could uh, still help him and uh, but right now the, the track is as clear as it could be. We got then Kado now going for the move on Anti. There he goes. Kado is on the soft, so when he sees uh, Anti on the mediums, suddenly he's gonna want to to get past him. So there he goes, Kado in P4. We got also Kubo maybe trying to pass Anti as well. He goes through the middle. Can he go for the inside of Kado? And here he goes. He goes a little bit deep as they still want some battling here, but I think Kubo might be able to secure P4. It should be very crucial and some kind of a redemption drive after what happened in CL. As things didn't really went that well for him, especially in the sprint race here, where he certainly struggled a lot. And then in the feature race, he starting outside of the top 10. And uh, he has to make quite a big, big recovery to finish in third place, but in the way you can see him, oh my god, he messes up a little bit. Galloway making things easy for him. 
Right now, very interesting. We got Hanani in the hard tires. This this could be quite an interesting strategy, but right now he's not really getting any safety, but he might be able to save one pitch stop and the others have been able to catch up to him. And this this is also happy, helping Sobo quite a lot because he is leading by three seconds. What a, a drive from uh, from Sobo right now. He got two mushes now inside. And Nadi will not fight that, he wants that safe stream as we got Kalo right behind, this could be very very chaotic right now, we got a 5 way battle for uh, second place right here, we got Kubo just trying to stay alive with Kalo, there, there he goes, oh big question, they're gonna lose the toe to the front. Ooh, this is not really good, we got Kalo now in P4, but Kubo is gonna try pass him again, and then we got Anti here in P6, then we got here, Pumush is now in second place, we got two big veterans, of these sports, we got one driver who has done almost every race of the every single season. Yeah, certainly race at least one race each season. And uh, Pumushus has joined since season two, joining for the anti pam team with uh, the anti Magic, which then got renamed as the Nordic Thunder. But either we got also Kato, Kato finished P6 in the feature race in CL today and P10 in the sprint, so he's still got to be happy with where he's at. If he can keep disciplined, he can still get a great result. Yeah, for sure, and this is, uh, his best result was in Angry then uh, round 2, on the, where he got P5, so he, he could be on to repeat that once again, but let's see, he's on some big battles here with Anti and Kado, I mean Kubo, and also we got this battle right behind, we got Juni Razim, I stole these words as well as Razim goes to the pits, Granny's gonna follow him, um, here they go, they're going, both going to pick soft tires as we see Kobo really frustrated with Kado, I'm pretty sure. As he's, yeah, there's losing time now, it's Anti leading this, this group as the mediums might be starting to get better than the softs. At least, uh, potentially as we got also now Hanani able to climb up to second place as you can see some really big battle in here. Oh, and lap number 15 as now Pumushus goes into the pits, he certainly wants to get rid of all of this as Sobol. Now he's going to be leaving the pits and crucially ahead of this group, which Roni and I saw these words as some other drivers that pit here already for a second time. And yeah, so far no indication of rain, everything just seems to be just sunny weather, but I'm pretty sure I put 10% rain on. And uh, and yeah, but the weather seems to be as dry as it can be right now. In the way, but also Nani is not the one leading the way. You would certainly love to see the rain coming in right now. It's the second win from Anti on the mediums. And then third is going to be Sobo, who already pitted for a second time. And then we got Kado now pitting, which Juni and now stole these words. Kubo, I think, is still staying out. No, he actually pitted one lap before. And I think that was a quite smart decision to get rid of Kado, who was certainly giving him quite a lot of trouble. So there he goes, uh, trying to chase down the other driver he's got here, Mati Mar on the mediums. Still, he had to pit for a second time, as you got some battle here against Marin Fries, but. Looks like he's gonna have to stay behind. Now he's going to the pits. So that's a free po two free positions for Kubo's anti also leaving the pits now in P8 right behind Kado. So he still has to deal with the Frenchman. Well, let's see now. Maybe he might be willing to shift him him because he he's on the mediums. And then you got Corvid who is he's on the mediums and his mediums are not really that old. And the same with Mario Fries looks like uh, FCR might have some kind of Blind strategy, is that true, Goose? Uh, come on, Goose, not sure if you are here, maybe not. Uh... Yeah, actually, uh, Marion Fries was doing some solo practicing to, uh, this week, uh, not doing much team stuff, so uh, she could have some ideas up her sleeve of her own, she'll surprise us all. Yeah, but uh, and right now he does seem to be synced with uh, his teammate Corby, they're both racing. Uh, Racing on the mediums, not sure if they sat in this race on the mediums, but they don't seem to be that pretty old, so I'm pretty sure that maybe that's those have been the tires that they've been using. In the meantime, we got Sobo catching up to his teammates uh, in the lead, and the and Hanandi is happily just streaming him, so that's quite some amazing teamwork, I would say. And this is could be very, very crucial for them, as you can see right now. Uh, Sobo still leading, then we got Pumushus in third place, and then in P4 it's Kubo. We just managed to get past the Spaniard there for P4, so very crucial to not lose any time. As the podium could certainly be on the line because Pumushus 
Actually, I'm not sure what pace this Pemushin has for this race. But he could potentially be confident this could kind of be uh, similar to a karting track and uh, that could benefit a driver like him as he got his only win on the... when we race in the first karting back in Season 7 which was in Round 5 that was basically... yeah, it's been more than a year since his last win in the, in the SEL. Okay, not much happening. Manny Freeze is trying to stay behind Kubo, then we got maybe some lighting. No, Anti just slipped him in Kado. And I think that's been it. And we got also Charge 18 now racing in P11 with another uh, CL and JL driver as well. Matty Mar here in P12. Well, hopefully, I think with their results, maybe Charge 18 would want to be much further ahead, especially when someone like Kubo is in P4. And Charge GT has managed to suddenly have quite a good pace and he could certainly be up there in the top 5. But after that big crash in the turn 1 on Shikane, he was on the outside and he got completely killed there. And then he got also, I saw this word. We're gonna have out. a rain! Yeah, there we go, we're gonna have some rain here, this is quite big. As you can see, you know, uh, it's Sobo gonna be the lead, so he's gonna, not gonna lose anything with this. And this is actually amazing for LSA because Kanadi has managed to save one pit stop. And now he can start the fight for the win as everyone just picking the inters, no one's gambling by staying out. And this is quite interesting, I'll be right back. Psych Red is on a pit, so I wonder if someone can just take over for a bit. It will stay. The Alright. Alright, I'm back. Uh, just have to put my shards on, on, but either way, coming back to the race, looks like only Grandy has decided to stay out and uh, he's not really benefiting much from that. He's gonna have to pit now, he's gonna be really undercutted. Quetz is well gambling, I think he pitted, but for the uh, right as you can see, now the rain is ending. Oh, that's gonna hurt for Grandy. That's really gonna hurt for him. He's gonna be down in P17 behind Bros in Grams and Ruist. And that is quite a disaster, I would say. Oh my god, the, the Finnish driver will not be happy with the, with the weather. Let's see, I think, still decides to stay out. He's already in last place, but I, I believe he pitted for the A. He actually pitted for the, for the Arta. That's quite interesting. Gamble, it might pay off because the others will have to pit very soon. You can see here, Gradient Rams pitting right now. And let's see, might be able to maybe past him, he's maybe gonna be able to at least stay behind him but behind his teammate Rams there in P17 and then we got the leaders now beating it's Sobo and Hernandi they're actually very close to each other it's like Hernandi is certainly showing some pace as he managed to catch up to his teammates so we got some big battles here lap 27 so there's uh, 21 laps to go LSC is gonna take the win looks like both the LSCs are going to take the hard tire that's a very interesting strategy then we got Pumushes following them Kubo is trying to catch up to the Swedish driver but I'm pretty sure Kubo might try to defend this third place because uh, I believe last season he did not get uh, any podium so he might want to get one this season and if, th if there's a day he can do it, it might certainly be today and Kubo also chasing his first ever podium which might be very surprising considering the way he's been totally dominating in CL although in the last two rounds things haven't really uh, gone quite his way but Either way, we've got Snuddy leading the way here with Salvo second, and his Pelusius third with Kubo P4. He's mining on a solo P5 with then Kado still in P6. It's still an amazing result for him. And then we've got Hanandi, I mean, Anti in P7. They're following the Frenchman. Well, he has the hard, uh, the hard tires and then Shuruni. Well, this said, he didn't really practice that much. He's racing in P8, so that's gotta, gotta be an amazing result for him. We got some clouds getting announced here. As we got can cast all these words on the softs. Racing P9, and we got Kraft uh, P10 with Charge GT. He's just trying to get himself into the top 10 this time at least. Even though we all know we could have certainly been on the top 5. We did have the place for that. Proceeding these performances from CL, but things can't just get that great in, a, in UL. Maybe some experience, because. Well, as you can oh. see now, the rain, is, the rain is coming back once again. 
this might potentially benefit Pumushas and Kubu who just staying on the softs and manage to benefit from it, but that depends on the pace that uh, the top 4 drivers had, as you can see now. Then we go to the pits and so surprisingly enough no one is gambling even though they have new tires this time. Let's see if someone decides to stay out and no everyone not everyone just playing uh, <gasps> playing safe here. As you can see now he's gonna have full rain announced right now. Yeah it's full rain right now so everyone who hasn't pitted yet will start to pit for the wedge while the drivers at the front will be on the inter so this could be quite an interesting shake up but there we got the top eight. Everyone just pitting for the inters. Then Rahim still pitting for inters as well in the race. Um, yeah, then you got the rest with the wets. Uh, one with the wets and leading the weights. I still deserve in P9. And then we got. Let's see if we got some battles. I'm pretty sure the LSAs will not battle each other till the end of the race. Because it's a win on the line. It's some really amazing results for the WCC on the line as well. Uh, FLF, their main rivals is they have Kubo in third and then they got Charge 18 P10, so that's they're really going to be getting a lot of the points against them. But though Kubo is certainly getting close and they have to, to really, really uh, be careful because Kubo might be furious about how the CL went and how his battles with Kalo went, so he might want to get reve revenge and redeem himself with the win, which would have been amazing, but right now. He is in the podium, which is also amazing for him because it would be the first time that he would get it. And the gaps are actually pretty close. You can see now Sobol taking the lead. Now Hernani is going to take it back, and this swapping of position is not really good for him. And what happened to Pumushas? Pumushas lost some lost some ground there to, to Kubo, and now Kubo is running away. As we are now in lap 34, soon they're going to have to pit for uh, for tri tires as the rain has already ended. So I guess now the Inter just start to get better, so whoever started on wets didn't really get much, but as you can see here we've got some massive battling here. It's really catching up uh, getting catch, caught up by Charge 18 and also I saw these wars and craft, so we got four-way battle here and there he goes now Charge 18 on the outside and he makes the move there as he got Journey is just trying to defend his way as soon as he starts to start to get better than the ones on the wets. Now he's Charge 18 leading the way on this group for the P8. But I saw these words right behind, but now they started to come down, but now Jeroni is going to go for the inside on the airpin. Can you make the move there though? As you can see, I saw these words also sneakily there to try to pass him on the inside. And now he's going to be on the outside, but he managed to survive there, so Jeroni now. In P8, then he's asked all these words in P9, then we got Charge ATE and then Kraft in P11. As we got already some money to the pits, and I think that was Gletsy there already going for the hearts. Uh, still looking at the front, we still got. Oh, Kobo now making a mistake there. Now Pumush is gonna pass him. Yeah, there he goes. Pumush is up to third place again. And Kobo, oh my god, that's quite a massive mistake. He was looking to be very close to the LSA drivers, but with that mistake on the hairpin, he's gonna lose third place now to Pumush, but he still only sleeps him, so nothing is lost. He still can get the podium, but let's see now. Lap 36, actually lap 37, so that's gonna be 11 laps. You can see some big chaos there. Wasn't uh, I'm pretty sure that I got the ghost in pit lane on as well. And uh, yeah, we got this and then Sobol leading away, Hernani right behind, but not getting his slipstream. So this could suddenly turn into a, a pace battle between the LSA drivers. Then he's Pumushes in third, and Mighty Free is now passing Kubo, and she got the, the medium, so Kubo might try to just slipstream her. Mighty Free, who won in the, the Turkish Grand Prix. Uh, Two weeks ago and she she had an amazing place there and an amazing performance and she won by 14 seconds to second place and that's that was certainly quite the banger performance from my free is probably one of her best ever races that she has ever done is yeah we got then Google then racing P5 then you got Kalo and Anti still on that battle for P6 but either way we got <coughs> I think someone would might right now be very happy, certainly Sobol, because he, he's leading the way, he got the championship uh, lead, and he might extend it even further, because Anti and P6 is certainly going to lose at least 15 points, I'm pretty sure. Because now we got Pumushas and Kubo now biting each other here for P4, as we are getting towards the end of the race. This is already the last thing, unless it rains once again, but they all pick the, the hearts or mediums to go to the end of the race. 
But in the meantime, we've got Mario 3 is catching up to Hnani, uh, so there might be a battle here for second place. So let's see if she's gonna try to slip stream, because she got the minion, she has better tires. Will Hnani try to slip stream her, or will he try to defend her? No, he's going to slip stream, so he might want to get the win as well, so he's gonna let Mario 3 is gonna get Mario 3 get past, so they can potentially catch up to Sobo. Because Marifiz has the faster tire and she might also get the pace as well, she's really working fast right now. The school might see his podium shells, he's once again leading away. This is right now racing in P4, just trying to hold on against Pumushus. But now we got, right, certainly get a big battle for the for the win, because it's Sobo leading the way, but Marifiz is not that far away. Then Hanad is in first, so it might be a three-way battle here. Can Mario Freeze catch up to Sobo for the win? That's the big, uh, for the lead of the race. That's the big question, you can see, I think she's gonna do it. She's gonna get the sleeve soon, so there we go. We're gonna have a battle here for, uh, for the podium position, and most crucially, most crucially for the win as well. As you can see, oh, and then he gets crushed into the wall. Now Mario Freeze, she's gonna try and go for the lead. As you can see, she is on inside line. Can she take it? And yes, she can. Mario Freeze is leading the way. Would this be the first back-to-back -back range for Mario Freeze? As Sobo now in second place. I think he may have, he may have got pushed into the walls. We yeah, are not really sure, but he said he lost a little bit. Same for Hernandi. But now it's the LSA trying to chase down Mario Freeze until the end of the race. Mario Freeze tires might be better, but soon the hearts might start to outperform the medium. So this is not over. This is not decided yet. So things are really starting to shake up now. It's really starting to get interesting. Can Sobo catch up with Mario Freeze though? That is the big question. As you got also Pumushus now getting P4 against Kubo. And I think many things might be able to maybe extend gaps. So let's take a look at the lap times at the end. So you see uh, Mario Freeze, she's about to cross the line. Then it's going to be a 30.08 and Sobo with the 30.47. That is not ideal. Now Sobo is going to swap positions with his teammates. But can they catch up to the sparing driver though? That is, that is the big question. Because there is a win on the line here. It might be free, she might get the, the win here, that could be really interesting. I don't think she has any inter inter uh, interest you know, on the driver's status, especially when she has already been one race at least. And she is quite far behind because of that. And also is asking to slift him his teammates. As we also got Spumushes now, but we Kubo Kubo already up to before. So let's see, it's just uh, only... Two and a half laps to go till the end of the race. I think at this point the hearts might start to get better to the compared to the mediums because look at this. Now he's starting close, but he makes a mistake there. He's killing the each other there. I think Sobo now also makes a mistake there, slowing down each other. Now with two laps to go, what's the, the lap time? It looks like Manifi's got the 30.48 and Sobo got the 30.23, so they still gain a little bit of time. So it's still possible, I think the hearts might start to be the fastest uh, tires, but they need to work <coughs> together if they still want to win. <coughs> but otherwise they might have to stick with the double body, which would still be a very positive result. But as you can see, they are really getting close, Mary Freeze, is, she might have a heart uh, going very fast right now. Same with the LSA drivers, they all try to fight for this win. Because er for everyone, the win is just there, as you can see now, Hnani. My try to go for the outside there, they go inside by side of each other, then they go to second place. Can he still catch up to Mary Freeze though? She's not that far away from this race, as you can see now, in the middle sector, this is a very decisive sector, is when you can get a lot of time. Can they catch up to him? I don't think they can. As you can see now, Mary Freeze, for the second time in this season, for the fourth time in her career, she's going to take the win here in Indian Grand Prix. Now, Hnani on Sobo took second, I think Sobo was in second. Then he's not in third and he's Kubo taking P4 and Pumushas P5. And then he's Kalo, oh my god, big battle there! And I think it's Kalo taking P6, anti P7 and he's charging in P8. <coughs> then he's Kara finishing P9, then you've got Corvin closing the top 10, then he's Jeruni. I saw these words, Matty Mar, then he's Rosim, Grandi, Rams. He reached just finishing the race and then Quetzi. <coughs> the big one finishing P18. And oh my god, that was quite an interesting race, very close in the end. But once again, it's Mary Freeze who's gonna take the win <coughs> here in Hyderabad, and it's Sobo. And then the other side is getting a double point, it's the second of the season, and Kubo, once again, 
tie his best ever result with P4, and then his Pelusius with the fastest lap finishing P5, then he got Cavill with the best results of the season P6, as we got Anti, then in P7, then he got Charge GT, this time in P8, that's what, that was quite an amazing recovery, considering the crash that he had at the beginning, in his craft, starting with P9, just ahead of Corvid, and then his craft, I mean, it's Journey, and P11, the creator of the track, and then we got Isol Resorts uh, finishing P12, then we got Matimar beating his teammate there in Mayhem, then we got Granty after that big uh, bad luck with the rain, uh, only P15 for today, then we got Rams coming back once again, only P16, then we got Erist, and then Kletzi uh, running up the grid. And all right, so this was uh, round number five, I mean, Round number six of the, this league. Then next week we're gonna be in okay, Yokohama for yet another Jironi track as well. And see you next week.